I am Sonali Thade and in this presentation I am going to discuss about digestive system of pila globosa. Digestive system of pila consists of tubular alimentary canal and digestive gland. Alimentary canal is further differentiated into foregut also called as stromodium, midgut and hindgut. While there are three types of digestive gland present in the pila, salivary gland, esophageal pouches and hepatopancreas or digestive gland. So this diagram showing the alimentary canal of pila globosa. It consists of the foregut which comprises mouth, buccal mass and esophagus. Then midgut which consists of stomach and intestine while hindgut consists of the rectum and the anus. So let's see one by one each part. Mouth, it is a vertical slit present at the tip of the snout. This mouth is open into the buccal mass. This diagram showing the VS of oral mass or buccal mass of pila. Buccal mass of pila, it is a pear shaped organ which is supported by the muscles and cartilage. The cavity of buccal mass called as buccal cavity which is open into the esophagus. This cavity is divided by the help of jaw into the smaller anterior part called as vestibule and the larger posterior part. Jaw consists of the various smaller and two three larger teeth. This jaw is worked with the help of the sphincter muscles. At the posterior part, a odontophoral mass is present which consists of the two set of cartilage and protractor and the retractor muscles. Odentophoral mass forms a subradular organ at its anterior side. Beneath the subradular organ, a narrow space is present which is called a sublingular cavity. On the top of this odentophoral mass, radula is present. The posterior part of radula consists of radular sac. Epithelium of the radular sac forms radula. This diagram showing the radula of pila. It is ribbon shaped cartilaginous plate which is present in the buccal cavity and run over the top of odontophoral mass. The radula consists of several transverse rows of the teeth and each row consists of the seven teeth. These seven teeth are in a definite sequence. In the center there is median tragedian, two lateral marginal, two inner marginal and two outer marginal. The teeth of radula are having a very sharp cutting edges which help in rasping the vegetable food. The radular teeth are secreted by the special odontoblast cell and continues to grow throughout the life. The buccal mass is open into the long narrow tube called as esophagus. On either side of the esophagus, a pair of esophageal pouches and the pair of salivary glands are present. Esophagus is open into the stomach. Stomach is somewhat rectangular in shape and the cavity of stomach it is U-shaped in appearance. The stomach is embedded into the digestive gland. Stomach is divided into the two parts that is cardiac chamber and pyloric chamber. A blind pouch like outgrowth cecum is originated from the lower mass of the pyloric chamber. Stomach is open into the intestine. Intestine, it is a long coil tube. It forms two and a half to three coils and then it is leads into the rectum. Rectum is thick walled and uh, it is open exterior through this anus. This is all about the alimentary canal of pila globosa. Thank you.